we're gonna compare the top three VPNs for Mac. Now, I know what you're thinking. Do I really need a VPN for my Mac? Sure, Macs have a reputation for being safe from things like malware, but they don't protect your privacy like a VPN does. If you wanna keep your information away from prying eyes or stream Netflix without pesky geo blockers getting in the way, you're gonna need a VPN. But which one should you choose? Don't worry, we've done all the hard work for you. But before we dive into our top three VPN picks, take a second to hit the subscribe button to support our channel. If you wanna give any of these providers a try, we've also left links in the description below with some great offers and discounts that I think you'll love. Ready? Let's get into it. ExpressVPN is our top pick for Mac VPNs, with more than 3,000 servers in 94 countries. ExpressVPN is one of the most robust platforms out there. But what about privacy? ExpressVPN has you covered with 256-AES encryption, no logs policy, and a kill switch. You can be sure that your information is protected. ExpressVPN has so many server locations to choose from, and that's great for masking your location so that your information and identity stays private. Unlike some other VPNs, ExpressVPN never tracks your browsing habits, and with a no logs policy, there's nothing to connect you to an IP or timestamp. But what if your VPN connection drops for some reason? ExpressVPN's kill switch kicks in to block all internet traffic until your connection is restored. It's peace of mind that you're never browsing without the protection of your VPN. ExpressVPN has always been an advocate for internet privacy, and that's why they developed a reputation for being the best in the industry. If you wanna take your privacy a step further, you can pay for their service with Bitcoin, so you never have to reveal your information. When it comes to privacy, ExpressVPN is hard to beat. But what about gaming? With so many server locations, ExpressVPN is a favorite among gamers. Ping can be a big problem for some gamers, but when you're connected to a VPN, you can choose a location that's close to the game's server. Shorter connection routes equal lower latency and less lag. And if you have a compatible router, you can download the ExpressVPN app, which lets you protect all the devices on your network. That includes gaming consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. If you want to stream live or on-demand videos, use ExpressVPN's media streamer service to say goodbye to buffering. You'll lose the privacy protection when using this service, but it's convenient for gamers. Because ExpressVPN hides your real location, you can unlock geo-restricted skins and maps, or even score a better deal on games. For gaming, ExpressVPN is a clear winner here. Now, what about streaming? Let's be honest, most of us use VPNs for streaming because we want to bypass censorship, location restrictions, or throttling. Maybe you want to see what Netflix has in the UK or somewhere in Asia. ExpressVPN's 94 server locations give you plenty of options, whether you're trying to view new and different content or bypass censorship. And with the ExpressVPN app, you can use the speed test function to check the latency and download speeds of each server. This allows you to choose the fastest server in your desired location. If you find a server that works well for you, you can favorite it and use it every time you want to log into that location. With all that ExpressVPN has to offer, it's hard to imagine that anyone can compete with them. But what if their service is just too pricey for you or isn't quite what you want in a VPN? NordVPN would be our second pick for Mac users. It's a little less expensive than ExpressVPN, but you're also more limited in terms of server locations. NordVPN has more servers overall, 5,400 to be exact, but they only have 59 server locations. That being said, NordVPN is a strong competitor in the privacy department. Like ExpressVPN, they have a no logs policy, so they don't store any data about your browsing habits. Their no logs policy has even been audited by an independent auditing firm in Switzerland. If you wanna protect your identity, you can pay with cryptocurrency. They also have other extra features for privacy protection like Onion over VPN and Double VPN. With Double VPN, your traffic is routed through two VPN servers, so your data is encrypted twice. Onion over VPN allows you to use NordVPN with the Onion network for even greater privacy protection when surfing the web. And of course, NordVPN also has a kill switch to keep your data from leaking into the web. In the privacy department, NordVPN may come out just ahead of ExpressVPN. What about gaming? NordVPN just can't compete with ExpressVPN speed, so it's not the best choice for gaming, Latency is a problem for gamers that use this device, and speeds can be inconsistent. If you play multiplayer online games, the last thing you want is unreliable speeds and latency. Some people love NordVPN for gaming, but we just feel that it's not up to snuff after gaming with ExpressVPN. What about streaming? Here's where things get a little tricky. Speeds can be very slow when streaming Netflix, Hulu, or sports. NordVPN only recommends connecting to servers that are close to your location so that it makes it harder to use a VPN for streaming content outside your home country. For streaming, we prefer ExpressVPN. The speeds are faster and you have so many more server locations to choose from. 
If ExpressVPN and NordVPN aren't appealing to you, we have one more VPN to share, Surfshark. Surfshark is the last VPN on our list and is still a solid choice for Mac users. It's one of the most affordable VPNs, but it's still limited as far as server locations and features go. Surfshark still has some impressive features in the privacy department. They have a no logs policy and they also have RAM only servers. That means that the servers are completely wiped each time they're turned off. Their policy has also been audited by an independent security auditor and obfuscation means that your ISP can't even tell that you're using a VPN. All traffic is encrypted with AES-256-GMC. As for gaming, Surfshark isn't ideal in this department either. It's not terrible, but latency can at times make games unplayable. For streaming, Surfshark is a pretty solid choice. It's not perfect, it can be slow at times, but we've had pretty good experiences streaming Netflix. It doesn't seem to play nice with Amazon Video, so that's something to keep in mind. Because the servers seem to be slower than other VPNs, we wouldn't really recommend this VPN for live sports streaming. Overall, Surfshark is really better suited for Mac users who want to keep their browsing habits anonymous. For streaming and gaming, ExpressVPN and NordVPN are the better options. Well, that's all for today. We hope you give one of these VPNs a try and share your experience in the comments. Also, before you go, just want to remind you to check out the link in the video description below to access special discounted rates we've hooked up just for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel 